Unitoka Kenya when the first time? That was after high school. It was 2001. Damn! Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a Qatar Airways Harry. Ooh, the Qatar Airways. Yeah. Ile moja, the, mm. the one. Yeah. So mimi nilikuwa uh, ground handling agent one. Niambie technically, ndege ime land. Nini ime land. Nini unafanya? Mimi ndi ule watu nuna wamevaa bitu the reflector. Uh-huh. They make sure your bag is taken out from the plane. Uh-huh. It's in a trolley. A tractor driver drives it. Ah. Uh-huh. So what of mouth PIA inasaidia sana. Usi, usi nyamazi, usi ike. Unajua wa Kenya wana kuwa kanamna gani. Ukijuone na ngambo. Uneka hiyo siri mpaka ile siku watu watakuona pa ndege kwa Instagram. Eh utaenda upost upost ukuo kwa ndege, they post wageo kwa ndege. Hiyo ndio kitu mbaya kabisa. Okay, ukienda mahali unaenda uliza. Hello, my name is Charlie Karomi. And apart from being drop dead gorgeous and incredibly talented, I am also an immigrant. You see, in 2022, I packed up my bags and left my home country of Kenya to a country I'd never been to before for adventure, for opportunity, for me, why not? But my story is not unique. You see every single year tons of people immigrate to new countries to start new lives just like me that means tons of new exciting stories are out there this is a place where you'll get to listen to some of them this is vibes and visas Hey, welcome to Vibes and Visas with me your host Charlie Karomi. This is the place where immigrants, adventurers, explorers share the stories of their amazing adventures beyond the oceans and beyond the borders. Now today, this is a place the the, the venue that we are at today needs no introduction. We've been here before. This is the High Commission of Kenya in the city of Kotni. That's what we call it. <laughs> and my guest today, he also needs no introduction. He's one half of the power couple guys that we've told you guys about on this channel who welcomed my wife and I with open arms and showed us the way in this country in this land of the maple leaf in Canada so ladies and gentlemen without much further ado please give it up for the one the only Almasa what up what up what up what up what up, what up? Oh, guys oh. cuz it has to explode yep It has to explode ni aje almasi. Poa sana. Finally on the channel again. You know mm. when nilianza huku hivi you used to be like the star of the channel. Alafu kapotea kweni ulienda wapi bro? Mbona siku hizi utoke angi? Kukuwa busy. Kuwa busy. Mm. Natafuta pesa huku. Huku kama unatafuta pesa lazima mm. ujitolee. Ndio hiyo sasa. Mm. How are you doing man? Looking fresh, chilling? Yeah. I'm looking good <laughs> ni kutulia tu na mambo ya Mungu. Eh, hey, wow, mm. tunasema anga ni God. <laughs> ni God. <laughs> ni God. I love it yeah. tell you guys. Akina Almasi's house. This is where all Kenyans and actually all Africans hang out in Courtney. And I actually need to take a video of the roof, the ceiling right now. Ilikuwa birthday uh, Stella what a few days ago yeah. and the decor is still up. I'm going to put this video on the edit. Look at that the colors of the Kenyan flag in case you are doubting that this is not the high commission of Kenya in Kwani <laughs> look at that but yeah. Alvasi thank you so much for uh, being on the channel and yeah. for uh, welcoming us as you usually do in your beautiful house hapa hivi ni ka home na tumekuambia kila time tunakujanga hapa hivi tunajua tuko mtaani tuko home thank you yeah. so much kili atena mm. so anyway Alvasi leo vibes and visas You know the deal layout down your stories and ni kama nimepata bits of it sijaipata story full full najua a little bit of a little bit unaniambia nga oh nikiwa kata mm. oh nikiwa Uganda oh nikiwa wapi but sijaipata in full leo nataka tu ipate in full tunaweza fanya hivyo sawa kabisa all right all mm. right so uh, mwaka ni 2023 yep and you left home for you your immigration story got split into several parts you meishi kidogo uganda yep ukaishi pia qatar mm. na ukaishi canada kuna yep. nchi nyingine nyenye mmehata no mainly ni uganda qatar 
Canada. Yeah. Si ndio. Mm. So maybe let me ask you. Uh-huh. What was your mission when you left home to go to let's start with Uganda. What was your mission when you left to Uganda? Like whatever took me to Uganda mm. was Nini lukumeenda kufanya? Ilikuwa education ili shule to study. So to mission study, to go uh, to Uganda was to study. Mm. Okay, what was your mission when going to Qatar? What was your mission? Qatar what would I say was my mission? Am I supposed to explain? No, you can yeah. make it as simple as possible. Yeah, I was like You know for... actually kutengeneza do ama ku better your life. Kuaso. Kuhasu. Yeah. All right. If, yeah. And then finally, what was your mission when you came to Canada? To Canada, I would say it was it was I wasn't the first one to come to Canada. My wife was here already, mm-hmm. so it was it, it basically was like for my family. I was mm-hmm. I was I was doing it for my family. To rejoin with your family. Yeah, because I had a wife in Canada, kids in Kenya, and me in Qatar. In Qatar. You need to start yeah. aligning, aligning. Mm. In case you guys haven't watched Stella's episode of Vibes, I'm putting the link somewhere here. It's amazing. Go and catch it. Ili kwa fire sana. But Almas, you met one your mission. Let's start from the beginning. Kenya. Uli mm. toka Kenya when the first time? Like to go to Uganda. That was after high school. It was 2001. Damn. Woo-woo. I'm sorry. 20 ah si kitambo sana 22 years ago wait yeah. 22 yeah 22 years ago only only just mm. the other day mm. just the other day uh where where were you going to what uh, tell me the situation ulikuwa after ilikuwa after high school ama uliko umemaliza college ama kulikuwa kunaenda aje uliko unaenda Uganda aje so nilimaliza shule nilimaliza high school mm-hmm. moho high school Moho. Eh, kwa tondo 146. Moho kama president, Moho kama brother ya president. Chief Moho the the, right. the the grand power the, the former president. Mm-hmm. Kumaliza, unajua hizo siku za kitambo it was computer was like it was starting to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I had to do a few packages. And unajua zile zilikuwa we were going to a computer schools. Ngoja ulifanya packages, ulienda Uganda kufanya packages. No, I had to do packages in Kenya. Oh, ah, of course. To keep me busy. Yeah. You know that time when you do packages and you do driving hizo ndio uju kitoka high school hizo ndizo vitu za ku keep busy yeah. juki jana wa 18 years ukimwacha aende tu hivyo ataharibika alafu hata result kutoka mlikuwa mnafanya exam uh, October results zinatoka i think February next year ndio alafu sasa kuanza sasa uanze kufikiria alafu ngoje sasa kama walipita uito university kama ukupita utafute college maisha yako ulikuwa umeipola na namna yeah. gani you want to do nursing you want to do hivyo sasa na lazima ukip busy because an idol mind is the mm. devil's workshop yeah so mm. mimi nikafanya packages na drugs. packages na packages mimi nikiwa mtu wa county shiara yeah. i had to go to meru to mbaya karicho institute ati we to we to we ati kuna hiyo aje mbaya karicho Mbaya Kalicho mm, Institute. Okay. Uh-huh. Na unajua Mbaya Kalicho Institute nilikuwa nimepeleka kufanya nini? Uh-huh. Introduction to computer. All right. I think a little bit of type word or haikuenda haikuenda hata to excel. Haiku haingefika hizo nilikuwa vitu tatu. <laughs> Ni Windows. We, ah wow, yeah exactly. Uh, Introdu- Microsoft Windows. In, in, introduction to computer Microsoft Microsoft Windows na kingi, na nyingine no, moja. Maybe word ku type. Eh yeah. na, na na package moja ilikuwa I think karibu 10,000 hiyo hizo type. <laughs> Ya yeah, sasa hata kuweza kufanya kitu kama ilikuwa ni maajabu sasa hiyo ni kuwe unaye kwa busy. So tukua bado wakati nilikuwa naimaliza kukatokea shule ilikuwa inaitwa Kampala International University. Kampala International University. Yeah, okay. Niko na siku mingi sijakaa Kenya. But hakuna kitu ilikuwa advertised kwa TV eh. na radio eh. kama, kama Kampala, Kampala International University. Kampala International University. Kampala International, International University. University. It, it was being advertised Kenya ilikuwa yeah. everywhere. If, if you know Uganda it's somewhere in Kabalagala. I think Kabalagala Kabalagala or Kanzanga. So oh, no, I, it, it's it's the middle of Kabalagala and Kanzanga. But that kind of shows you how much advertising they are doing because you are in what is the name of the institute? The Bayakaricho Institute. <laughs> so you heard about Kampala International University while you were in Bayakaricho. Yeah. No no you are do you know kuna there's a building in Nairobi called uh, Uganda House. I've heard of it. Nimeisikia. So, so it was that I, I know when I when it was it was somewhere in that Uganda was that's where we went to apply for that. 
All right. And the thing is, as internationals, mm -hmm. I was an international student. So I Come on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was an international student. So we were only allowed to pay our tuition in dollars. What? Mzee, nililipa ni milianza kulipa vitu in dollars. Jambo, au jambo? 23 years down. Wait, wacha nikuuliza mm. mbona the rush to join Kampala, Kampala International University was ilikuwa cheaper ama ilikuwa the courses that they were offering what did you what did you apply to do? What course did you apply? Social work and social administration. Mm. Private universities za Kenya zilikuwa very expensive. Oh. This is the like easy Madesta, hizo zote hizo zilikuwa expensive. So in comparison compared So to compare like I think I was ilikuwa 64. Sisi kumbuka figures is 23 years. Hey, yeah. It's a long time, but mm. Kampala International University was cheaper. It was cheaper. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uka in the Uganda house, if uka fill out the forms. Nika fill up the forms, and I look the basically you could the forms and prove that you can pay the money, mm. and that's it. And then you your application got accepted. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Uka uh kuwa -huh. processed. Uka kuwa kila kitu was fast. Kasi maufunge safari uende Kampala. Kampala. Ulienda aje uli fly when you are cuz niliongeana niliongeana our friend Annabel used to fly <laughs> damn girl yali sema kutoka Kenya mpaka Uganda yali kwa ki fly ulienda aje mimi unajua bus inaitwa Kamba <laughs> ile ya blue Kamba i think it was the main na ka yellow mainly zilikuwa yellow kabla kampuni hiyo kampuni i think ilikuja kuanguka eventually so ukapanda Kamba wa wow, man nakumbuka ngai siku tulikuwa na travel we were so many now the destination it was not just going to Uganda it was going to Kampala International to Uganda but to Kampala International University. Wait, when everyone on that bus was going to Kampala International? Uh, pretty much yes. Mulikuwa wengi? Tulikuwa wengi sana. Design buses ilikuwa zinatupeleka shule. Ni kama venye high school za Kenya eh. na hiring kwanza high school za Central Province mm. naita matatu ya peleke Nairobi. Kabisa. So yeah. clearly the uh, as you are saying kulikuwa na advertising mob sana walifanya Kenya. Mi, mob. Eh. Mob mob na ilikuwa deal mzuri sana compared to prices the private private universities in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Zilikuwa uh, zilikuwa too insane. Ndio wezi zi afford kama we ni hasla. Na I guess your time mm. ju squeeze kuna mingi Kenya. I mm. guess your time akukua na private colleges mingi. Hakukuwa na makole mingi. Jusa hizi no, Kenya zikuna mobs. Yeah, no, your time ikukuwa like kwa mob. like even to to be in a university in an international university if mm. like if you're thinking big. Mm. Unajua your international university was like USIU. Na hiyo USIU nayo. So yeah, sasa hiyo ilikuwa level ya that what you thought. Yeah. That what me hata mimi niki una, unajua going to an international university like USIU uko levels. Uko na levels hata ukitaka kukwenda mahali pengine kama US wakijuliza mea it was there one of the yeah. so unajua uko It's like where are you from USIU mm. where are you mm. from KIU mm. you know international university. Exactly. But <laughs> what? <laughs> the morning nataka ngukumbuka nataka ngukumbuka hiyo si hiyo. What happened? I know it was in August. I na kumbuka kabisa sana was I think it was August 21st. You brought your key you I wish ningeyeka ningekuwa ningejua ningejua ningekuja kuiongelea ningeyeka. Because ilikuwa kama blueprint yake inatuonesha vitu. Oh, look at our facilities. Yeah. Angalia hii angalia. Ilikuwa hata na med lab iko huko nyuma kubwa sana vitu kubwa vitu kubwa. Vitu za international university. Yes. But we put a two building, more than a KL. And do everything. Lab, lecture hall, and computer, zote. Na na si ati na tosha na ati 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 three kilometers this way and three kilometers this way. No, no, you can see it from Gomez Mama apa. Kalafu, what was meant to be the parking lot and all that stuff, ni matinga si nazo huko tu huko. So wana jenga mkiingia. Wana jenga the morning of it was a Wednesday. Now nakumbuka it was a Wednesday that day it was a Wednesday. So if we to sort of remember you are going to international university oh, oh. ndoto. Hakuku atukupata kitu hata moja okay hiyo building bado alikuwa nayo. Hiyo KL hivi ilikuwa na KL. Na ina kitu kingine nyuma ama ama mbele no. Ni KL tu. Eh na ina hata parking lot ina nini? But even if you are Kenyan, if you are Kenyan, unajua wazazi wako wakikwambia tuko na nyumba mpya tunaenda kuhamia. Hakuna mkenya anajua age yangu ashaihama nyumba ikiyo imeisha. Nyumba unaingia hata plaster ijaeka kwa ukuta. 
unaingia kwa nyumba hata uh, dirisha zingine ni cardboard mkiendelea kidogo mnasema eh pesa zimeingia mnaongezea glass kidogo mnaweka plaster kidogo mnaweka rangi so ni kawaida 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 for nyumba ya nyumbani eh, but nimelipa tuition by the way in dollars mm-hmm. like a triple pesa zile Uganda walikuwa wanalipa kwa the same school kuzo wewe ni international student. Yeah, nimekuja na Kamba my friend. Kama na nimekutembea na Kamba. Nime close borders. Ndio sasa. Si. Institution kama hiyo Kenya ingekuwa kitu kama a primary school ni jiara. Ile kitu nilikuja kupata. I hata ijafika ijafika secondary ijafika abana, abana. ijafika college ilikuwa design yani ya aunge cheat. Mtu wote kama uko na girlfriend Ukitoka class uende kama class ya Jaisha anakuona kwa sababu ya kupande nyingine. Si umetoka class kuja. Haya, ukitoka class ukienda hostel. Wale watu walikuwa yeah. kwa shule wanakuambia kwani usiki vizuri yo gun tu. Bwana mbona unaenda hostel na bado in the middle of class. So ilikuwa kitu kama hiyo. Hawezi cheat, hawezi cheza. Hawezi cheza. But it wasn't but I get what you're saying. It's not the level yenye. No. Mimi school fees in dollars. Yeah. In dollars ni kwa very expensive. Kuna watu wengi walikasirika hiyo story. Watu walikasirika but again tulikuwa unajua nimekuja kujua mkoa yang mm. na umetumwa kwa country kama hiyo umetoka comfort umetoka kwa 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 uko na mzazi every day. Yeah. Wewe you have your pocket money you have your everything you hakuna mzazi. Mm. Mzazi muwa muacha Kenya. Kitu kama 20 kitu kama 15 hours away from Mali uh, umeenda mkienda straight. So yeah tulikuwa tu tuko excited bado tumeona ni mbaya but tuko excited. Yeah so tuka tukapata he, matinga zinazunguka hivi. <laughs> ulika ulika kia you how long? Ah uh, yeah. One, One year. year. Yeah. Uliko umeenda kufanya Swiss Swiss was, uh, social, social social work and social administration. Kweni ina taking one year. Sasa hiyo ni ni a degree but kwa sababu sisi Kenya tunasoma tuna, tuna, tuna mpaka form 4 na Uganda wa kwa mpaka na Kenya na Uganda wako na four, system ya osi yeah wako na yeah. I think the 7423 ama kitu kayo eh yeah so ulikuwa lazima ufanye kitu ulikuwa na matriculation in, in access program ni kama bridging bridging uh-huh. sasa hiyo bridging <laughs> ni 2 years ni hizo 2 years za form 5 and 6 but you're doing them in a year wame compress aha uh-huh. yeah so so hiyo ndio ulifanya so hiyo ndio nilifanya uh-huh. but before that was kumaliza hiyo some of us some of our friends who came to do like stuff like nursing ikaanza kusema kana shule iko chartered oh kufanya vitu kai hizo and then if you know if i sister group but i can give you the history ya mwenye ya mwenye huyo huyo the huyo alikuwa ona hiyo shule tukasikia the government is looking for him na mepotea then akakuja kupatikana kwa Thailand he dealt with maybe high end skins so first thing cuz especially for courses like nursing anything that needs some sort of certification from a board mm. ile place nyam nasomea lazima iko certified yeah juu ukifanya hiyo course utoke useme i am a nurse utakwambia hiyo place nyu ulifanyia hatujui kenya mlifunzwa mm so hiyo kwa chata hata hawajapatiwa hawajapatiwa za kufanya some courses like specifically nursing mm. afu mwenyewe pia ni fugitive huko ni fugitive eh? ukienda ku google if you google about eh. Uganda and and, and, and uh, google about the tycoons who dealt with the hands and skins in Uganda yeah. uta, uta, utaona jina yake hapo oh, no. so he disappeared and then he was he was akampata akapatikana is in Thailand enjoying his life and all that stuff so eh yeah, man so things like that yeah. the, your confidence in the school ikapunguka kidogo yeah and then most of my friends then were doing nothing mm-hmm and they could not continue because the school told them that it, whatever they are doing is not legal like it's nothing so they moved they were there to move back to Kenya and then it was like basically I was going to be I have I had friends who are doing mass communication and such stuff mm-hmm. but I felt like uh, you want to be in a school that is a school like you know the Sim the, the, the guinea pig yeah. sio una jaribu sio nini mm. so wakati lianza kukuwa kama kila kitu ni sisi tunajaribu some of us will give up Sasa kwa nalipa hizi dola zote mimi ni kwa test subject. Yeah so mimi I refused nikajiambia kwa akili yangu nikajiambia no. Hii hii degree 
Noma. Utaweza kuwa utako in the middle of the degree alafu ambapo tena huko haiko hapo. Haya panda akamba rudi kwenu. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's when now so, after after here in Kampala ukarudi home. Tukarudi home, yeah. So home uli ulifanya nini? Ju this is 2000 and umerudi 202 ama 203? 202. 202 merudi home. 202 By, uko mid mid. Cuz I know part of your story. Mm. Cuz you went back home in 202 mm. but Qatar mm. ulienda 2010. 2010 January 2010. Yeah, January so 17. between 202 na 2010 una do between 202 and 2010 nimefanya unaona zile zile college za Nairobi ama Mombasa zinakoanga chini ni ba kani kanisa iko meza 9 eh na university eh sijui hata so ulifanya course gani uko hauko ukifanya kazi Kenya nikafanya community development and project management mm. nilikuwa na vision nilikuwa na nilikuwa nimefocus come on <laughs> sasa uh-huh. that was in Mombasa shout out to my uncle ndi alikuwa nani ananimulika ni kwa hiyo maneno yote mm-hmm. sasa my uncle ana rasa alikuwa na, na na biashara ya ya scrub metals na ilikuwa inafanya vizuri sana that time mm-hmm. so after the fact that i went from kampala sasa unajua si kurudi nyumbani so akaniambia you come over tutashughulikia tutashughulikia so school and and working for him mm. yeah so hey, big yeah. shout out to your uncle yeah anaitwa uncle sam Anko Sam aliku, mm. aliku sort by the way. Alini sort. Shule una una una, una, una soma, na pia huku unatengeneza do which is yeah. a beautiful thing. Yeah. But eventually in 2010 mm. ukasema eh before we go on a break mm. nataka kuelewa the decision to leave for Qatar. How did that happen? What happened? What jolted you into leaving for Qatar? Because as you said unafanyia ankolea kwa job mm. biashara ya crap metal imevuma mm. nini ili happen ama kuna mtu alikuambia about an opportunity ama ulipata job kuliendeleaje yeah i have a, i have a, i have a small sister mhm fatia as bani yake as friends and, and relatives ambao walikuwa kataa already they mm-hmm. knew about this thing mm-hmm. so siku moja akamention akasema unajua ni is my brother in law because he married my sister akanambia kataa is hiring Oh, the Qatar Airways, yeah. ile moja, the, mm. the one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, can you lose kama niko interested ku apply? Come on. Nikakuwa tena alafu niko na rafiki. At that time niko na rafiki yangu mwingine ako Dubai. Who was not doing so well in Dubai. Mm. So na sikia mambo ya Middle East, Qatar Airways is yeah, is 20 minute. Qatar is 20 minute from Dubai. Nika nsema but anyway, I was convinced. And they come here, kanambia okay, na can saidia ku apply yo uliko na apply online and then uko short listed this guy fly over come to nairobi and interview mm-hmm. will you apply what position qatar airways i thought i applied for for porter <laughs> unajua wale watu wanaanga kwa, kwa kwa movie wanazukumia watu kwa airport unajua that time unajua uh-huh. sija travel uh-huh. so unajua wale watu kuja na 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 na, na, na trolley uh-huh. so i thought that's the job i applied for I was hired for I think baggage handling no it was no ground handling ground hand you like uh, um, like uh, siju kama unajua terms za 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 airport sana sana so in airport kuna 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 airport na kuangana ya side na huko mko ile airport unajua inakuangana huko nje so pande ya ground handling kuna kuna terms mingi sana kuna equipment operators kuna vitkaizo so mimi nilikuwa Uh, ground handling agent one so niambie technically ndege ime land nini ime land. unafanya mimi ndi ule watu unaona wamevaa vitu za reflector uh-huh. they make sure your bag is taken out from the bag the the the, the, the plane uh-huh. it's in a trolley a tractor driver drives it uh-huh. and then they bring some you they, they maybe if you're going to maybe you're connect you're, you're using the same flight to your bag they'll bring it back and then I'll load it back uh-huh. so, i would say that it would look like i was a uh, you do almost everything 
No but nimekuelewa sasa cuz mm. me explain in practical terms ule yeah. mtu ndege kilandu naingia kwa booti ya ndege yeah. unaangalia okay hii naenda huko hii naenda huko na sort hiyo. Hiyo ni kitu ya kwa yeah. That's the job that you got. That's what I was hired for. Oh that, that was my second question. Yeah. Did you get the job? Clearly you did. Yeah, I did my interview and whoever was interviewing me told me like you know you have to wait to to, to know whether you've been hired or not but uh, whoever was interviewing me told me prepare to go to Qatar in three weeks alikuibia siri akakwambia eh mtu wangu uko ndani yeah yeah tulikuwa wengi sana tulikuwa sarova walifanya interview sarova and they had like wale head managers wa kila kitu ambao walikuwa wamenania okay almost no na tuchukue pause hapo hivyo jo hapa hivi story inashika inaendelea kushika mm-hmm. tumetoka the international university mm-hmm. that was not so international okay are you okay <laughs> are you na hapa hivi you've gotten uh, hired for a job in Qatar mm. and you would never left East Africa before and this is one of the biggest airlines in the world no yep. yeah when we come back ladies and gents Almasi's trip to Qatar and how that went his first flight sasa in it sasa ndio overseas ju Kampala ni overland ingine ndio overseas oh sio yeah ndio hiyo sasa Almasi will come back and tell us about his trip to Qatar settling in the in the Middle East and working for Qatar Airways even before he thought about coming to Canada do not go anywhere vibes and visas will be right back 